Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. This is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I'm reading from Joel chapter 2. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand, a day of darkness, of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains. Mm. A great people and a strong. There hath not been ever like, neither shall be any more like, like it after it, even to the years of many generations. A fire devoureth before them, and behind them a flame burneth. The land is as the Garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness. Yea, and nothing shall escape them. The appearance of them is of the appearance of horses, and as horsemen, so shall they run. Like the noise of chariots on the tops of mountains, shall they leap like the noise of a flame of fire that devoureth the stubble, as a strong people set in battle array. Before their face, the people shall be much pained. All faces shall gather blackness. They shall run like mighty men. They shall climb the wall like men of war. And they shall march every one in his ways. And they shall not break their ranks. Neither shall one thrust another. They shall walk every one in his path. And they shall fall upon the sword. They shall not be wounded. They shall run to and fro into the city. They shall run upon the wall. They shall climb up upon the houses. They shall enter in at the windows like a thief. The earth shall quake before them. The heavens shall tremble. The sun and the moon shall be dark. And the stars shall withdraw their shining. And the Lord shall utter his voice before his army. For his camp is very great, for he is strong that executeth his word. For the day of the Lord is great and very terrible, and who can abide it? Therefore also now saith the Lord, Turn ye even to me with all your heart, and with fasting, and with weeping, and with mourning, and rend your heart, and not your garment, and turn unto the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and of kind, of great kindness, and repenteth him of the evil. Who knoweth if he will return and repent? and leave a blessing behind him, even a meat offering and a drink offering unto the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify a fast, call a, psalm, a solemn assembly, gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children and those that suck the breast. Let the bridegroom go forth of his chamber and the bride out of her closet. Let the priests and the ministers of the Lord weep before the porch and the altar and let them say, spare thy people, O Lord, and give not thine inheritance to reproach that the heathen should rule over them. Wherefore should they say among the people, where is their God? Then will the Lord be jealous for his land and pity his people. Yea, the Lord will answer and say unto his people, Behold, I will send you corn and wine and oil, and ye shall be satisfied therewith. And I will no more make you a reproach among the heathen. But I will remove far from you the northern army and will drive him into a land barren and desolate and his face toward the east sea and his hinder parts toward the uttermost sea. And his stink shall come up and his ill savor shall come up because he hath done great things. Fear not, O land, be glad and rejoice for the Lord will do great things things. Be not afraid, ye beasts of the field, for the pastures of the wilderness do spring. For, th excuse me, for the tree beareth her fruit. The fig tree and the vine 
to yield their strength. Be glad then, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he hath given you the former rain moderately, and he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain and the latter rain in the first month. And the floors shall be full of wheat, and the fats shall overflow with wine and oil. And I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army, which I sent among you. And ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God. He hath, they, excuse me, that have dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. And that I am the Lord your God. And none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. And it shall come to pass afterwards that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions and also upon the servants and upon the handmaids. In those days will I pour out my spirit and I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. And the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord come. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered for in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance. As the Lord hath said and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. God bless you. God bless God's word. Amen.